Hey songwriters, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use Melodyne Essential pitch correction software in GarageBand. Melodyne is an industry standard pitch correction software and you can get the starter version for $99. And this is a really powerful way to sharpen up a vocal performance. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use it in GarageBand. Let's dive in. All right, so we're inside of GarageBand and I've opened up a children's project that I got to work on recently that I really loved. And here in verse two, a young boy was singing a line that was good, but it did need some help as far as tuning and some timing. And so we're gonna talk about how to use Melodyne within GarageBand, and I'm gonna show you two main tools and two main ways to use it. So I want you to think of the grid, okay? Number one is pitch correction. That is how sharp or flat a note is or on tune. The second thing horizontally is timing correction. And so maybe you sang it too early, maybe you sang it too late. That's the two things that we're gonna look at as far as how to use Melodyne within GarageBand. And so what I'm gonna do is bring up my smart controls window by hitting, by hitting B on the typing keyboard. We're gonna go down to plugins and then I need to get an empty slot or take this one that's not being used. And I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom, audio units, Celimony Melodyne. I click on that. It brings up this box here. And what I need to do is go to the place within the performance that I wanna start recording. So I'm here at the beginning of this region. I'm gonna hit transfer, hit the space bar. And now we let it transfer. We just gotta wait. Spacebar again, and now it is finished transferring. So, two things we're going to do one is pitch, pitch correction, two is timing correction. So, I'm going to hit play, listen through the first few phrases, and see if there's one note that we can pick out that really needs to be tuned. So, let's hit play on it. Alright, the me on the re de mi. Alright, so what we're going to do is go in here to Melodyne and make sure you're on the arrow, not on the grab tool. And I'm going to highlight the note that I want to edit and then come up here to this line. And then my wife is going to walk in while I'm filming. And hey, that's I'm okay because she's... Thanks for the smoothie. Mm. So refreshing. Highlight that note the note you wanna work on, and then hit this button here. And on pitch center, we need to drag that over. I'm gonna go ahead and go to 100%. You can choose you know, how perfected you want it, but let's go to 100 for now and hit okay. If you don't hit okay, it doesn't save your changes. And now let's try that again. So what I'm hearing, it's actually the wrong note. So if I bring that back into context, we're flat. It needs to be up one. Let's try that. Yep, and obviously we could grab some. So you can go through one note at a time. You can also grab lots of notes at one time and shift them all into place. Sometimes it can sound not robotic, but you might get a weird artifact here or there as it's just kind of working out the part. So it's up to you how detailed and specific you want to get with it. So that's number one and that's pitch correction. And now let's talk about timing correction. And so on this note right here, you'll notice he's just a hair late. It's supposed to be re de mi but it's, he just pauses just a little bit. Let's listen. So it's ever so slight, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep to the highlighted note and I'm gonna go over to where this little double-sided arrow appears and hold the option key, then click and drag this to where I want it to start. And now let's try that. So you hear how it hits right, re de mi, it hits right on the beat, and that's what I want. Obviously, these others need to be adjusted as well, but I just want to show you how that works. So again, you hold your mouse over it till the double-sided arrow comes, you hold the option key, and then you can drag it, 
and you'll notice that it's actually changing the note before it so it sounds more natural and smooth as it changes the timing of a certain note. All right, so now that I've shown you some pitch correction and some timing correction, I'm gonna go back through and finish editing this entire line and we'll listen to a before and after. So there you have it guys, how to use Melodyne within GarageBand. It's a really powerful tool. It's one you can get your hands on for $99. And hey, if it helps you take your songs to the next level and you feel like you're ready to go to the next level with music production, then Melodyne Essential might be a great tool for you to start with. All right, this is Dean from the Songwriting Studio signing out. I'll see you in the next video.